Welcome back. Well, let's talk about earnings now and put the spotlight on the cement pack. Ambuja is going to be reporting its quarterly numbers today. Nigel is here with the street expectations. Nigel, morning. Morning, Ekta. For Ambuja Cement, just want to alert our viewers that please look at the standalone numbers, don't look at the console numbers, because this time around the console numbers could uh, include even uh, ACC's numbers, given that now uh, ACC is a subsidiary of Ambuja Cements. But let's focus on the numbers then. On my poll on the top line itself, uh, it indicates a bit of a negative bias, so maybe a downtick of around half a percent approximately. That's because sales volumes, that's expected to drag, should come in at around 4.76 uh, million tons. So that'll be a sharp contraction on a sequential basis and on a year in year basis as well, it should be down by around a percent approximately. Now, in terms of pricing, the blended realizations could come in higher actually, could come in mildly positive with a gain of around 2 to around 3%. That's because North as well as uh, Central India, oh, their prices have uh, moved up by close to around 5% on a year-in-year -year basis. But that's more or less offset because uh, in East as well as West India, we've seen prices uh, see a bit of a negative tick. Why Ambuja Cements uh, gains and why we're expecting blended realizations to come in higher is because it has no exposure to South India. And oh, there as well, prices are fairly weak. So no exposure to South India, that's what's going to help them. That's what's going to help the blended realizations come in mildly higher. And remember, the exposure to the good parts of the country, that's north as well as central India, is nearly around 45% approximately. In terms of operating profit, that should come in higher by close to around 20%. Margin should expand, coming in in the range of around 17.5% to around 18%. But watch out for the EBITDA per ton. That's going to be a very, very uh, key monitorable. Over there, we are expecting a reading of around 790 to around 800 rupees per ton. That will mean that on a year-in-year -year basis, it comes in higher by around 30%. But on a sequential basis, it takes a hit of around 200 uh, rupees uh, per ton. Why will the margins expand? One being that uh, we should see higher realizations coming in. Second factor being their operating costs uh, should come in lower because they're using more amount of pet coke now in their uh, mix. So pet coke usage has moved to around 60% from around 40%. And remember, pet coke prices have rocketed on a sequential basis, but on a year-in-year -year basis, it's still lower. Put all this uh, together, in fact, the profitability should jump up by around uh, 40%. The numbers should be served for you uh, lunchtime, maybe around 1 to around 2 p.m. Back to you. All right, we shall wait for the numbers to be served.